hello, 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 everyone. My name is Bobby Berm. I'm so, so excited to be back. GDQX, TwitchCon, uh, ran last year, ran some Viewfinder, and now we're back with some more indie games, and I'm so, like I said, so excited to be here. Um, this is going to be an indie sniper puzzle game, and so it's very reminiscent of, like, Super Hot, uh, if you ever played that game, where time slows down as you're playing the game, and it speeds up, and you can interact with the bullet. It's amazing. We'll, we'll get into it in just a second here. But I have an amazing, amazing commentator, commentator on the stage with me. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, hello. Uh, I'm Jess at home. Uh, I work at Devolver Digital. I'm one of the influencer strategists. Uh, so if you are a content creator here, I've probably emailed you. We've probably <laughs> talked. Uh, it's okay if it went to your spam. We'll get, we'll get used to that. <laughs> anything else ahead of want before we start? Anything else to mention? Uh, I just want to give a shout to the dev of this game. Uh, Rene Rother is a solo dev based out of Berlin, and he has made something super, super incredible here, uh, and we're all super proud. Uh, so I hope you all enjoy watching it. It's it's a cool one. Yeah, it's an absolutely amazing game. And so with that, we'll go ahead and get started. Enough talking. We'll get into here. If we can get a countdown for everyone in the audience, we'll be down for that. Yes? All right, we'll start from five. Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right. And so we're here with Children of the Sun. So like I said, this game is a puzzle sniper shooter. We are actually acting as a bullet. So throughout the game, you'll see these uh, yellow colored characters that we're going to be taking out throughout the game. Uh, you'll notice here, when it says dead, you'll know that's your cue to clap. Whenever you see dead on the screen, that's when you can celebrate, okay? So our goal here is to take out every single character in each of these levels here. And so we're going to do that in various ways, right? Um, and so here, we're going to look over here and get this guy through this tree. And you'll see as, <clears throat> as we kill characters here, we're going to rotate. And as we're floating midair, the time slows down, actually. And so you'll see right here, it slows down a little bit. And then we get a second to shoot again. And there we go, level two done. Um, so yeah, uh, so we'll note here that one way to take out characters is actually directly by hitting their bodies. Um, and so another way we're going to see coming up in level three uh, is, is to take out the environment. And when I say that, you'll see what I, you'll see what I mean here in a second. Um, so we're going to restart the level here and hit start. Um, we're going to take out the cars. So if we hit the little gas nozzles on the side of the cars, it can actually do an AOE damage. Um, that we can hit. And so I'm going to really tight shots here. And so we're going to hit these little gas tanks. I'm going to rotate really tight shot. There we go. We got it. So, and that takes out multiple characters at once. So there we go. Awesome. Level three done. And so we're going to take advantage of those cars as much as possible to get as much AOE damage as we can so we don't have to take out every character individually. And there's also a leaderboard that shows up at the end of each level, but we move too fast to see it. Um, I also think it's really cool that you actually see the trajectory of your bullet at the end of each level, which is really cool if you wait long enough. And so what we're going to do here, we're going to ro rotate slightly to the right and shoot our bullet right here and get this guy through this window. We can actually also shoot through fire. So we're going to rotate to the left here. There's a guy throwing... Uh, throwing something through there. We're going to shoot this character here, rotate out. Now we're introducing the idea of characters moving throughout the game, and you kind of have to hit them as they're um, in action, so to speak. So there we go, level five, six. I'm not going to try to keep track anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, any, any other background or details you want to talk about, like the development or the publishing of this game, Jess? So I want to talk about the gas tanks for a second, because mm. I spent an hour in that level looking for them, and someone had to send me a picture and was like, did you see that they light up like live <laughs> green, and they're right here? Uh, so this, was, this game it taught me a lot about myself as a gamer. Um, and we signed this like super, super, super early. I'm, so I come from marketing, influencer marketing, and I, I'm typically brought onto a game uh, relatively late in the process. But there was a close duo of a producer at Devolver and Renee the Dev that worked with this from, honestly, almost from scratch, like super early. So to see it kind of come together like this is... It's, it's really it's cool. It's really cool. Um, also, you'll see I'm trying to get a glitch where if you pause the game uh, at the exact moment um, where, you, where you take out one of these animals, uh, you get a glitch speed up. Unfortunately, didn't get it there, but it's no big deal. Um, but that level does introduce the idea of taking out other animals on top of cars. And so you don't actually have to take out characters all the time. If you're looking for like an emergency escape, um, you can take out one of the animals or the cars, right? And so if you need like a rotation of your bullet. Um, coming up here, this level, is the first time where we actually introduce rotation of the bullet midair. So you'll see here, I can move the bullet as it's moving, which is so cool and my favorite part about this game. So you can actually take a second to readjust as the bullet is flying through the air. So now the speed run starts to get a little bit faster here. Well, you'll note that I'm just going to be shooting and then aiming later. So <laughs> we're going to go for it, then ask for, uh, ask for forgiveness later as we're adjusting midair. Um, so there we go. Another level done. Do you know where you sit on the leaderboards? 
Um, each level is separate on the leaderboard. So um, I think there's a couple of them where I'm in like top 20, top 10. Uh, uh, yeah, shout I know out, you do. yeah, shout out to Flying Waffle, who's our world record holder in a lot of these, and also an individual um, record holder for a lot of these levels as well. Um, Dane, if we have any donations right away, this one might be a good level to do it. You bet. You bet. We've got a $25 donation here from Not Birch that says, Hey, Bobby. Did you know that in Spanish, Children of the Sun is Benti Sign Co? <laughs> Benti Sign Co. Uh, thank you, Birch. I appreciate it. So, channel meme. There we go. Another level done. All right. Coming up here, so you, what you saw there in that level was me taking out uh, one of the gas cans. So you'll note that you can take out a canister on top of additionally taking out cars or animals, that kind of thing. So moving on here, um, the next level, we'll have it load in here. You'll note that at the start of each level, I'm restarting. Um, but this level is the only time we don't do that. The characters in the game are actually moving as these cutscenes are happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for this guy to line up perfectly uh, with another character. So right when this switches, there we go. We're going to hit start. I'm going to shoot, see if I can get this. Oh, it looks good. Hold on. And we can do a double click. Nice. Awesome. That was really good. I was, I've been practicing that one a lot. All right. We're going to keep rotating here. We'll take out the last guy in the top of uh, this little hut and go out this window right here. Take out this guy, and then we're going to hit one of those car canisters, again, right here. Um, and then go to our left, and we're out. Nice. <laughs> That's much more difficult than you would imagine, uh, but an awesome level. All right. So I think the next one is where we have to shoot across the valley right away. So let me see if uh, we can pull this up right now. Um, let's go here. Jess, anything else to add about like the publishing process where we go through this level or anything else from the dev side? So this was a fun one to kind of evaluate for how we wanted to reach out to content creators because we'll typically look at like what is the first impression that people are going to get of the game and immediately we were like, gun. Like people are <laughs> going to think, oh, it's a first person shooter. Uh, and it's really not, like it's definitely more of a puzzle game. So we kind of had to workshop how are we going to relay this across uh, in the most concise and, uh, and efficient way. Uh, and it took some doing. Like, it was, it was kind of, you know, we had to get a lot of puzzle gamers mm -hmm. on board. We really leaned into speedrunners <laughs> like yourself. Yes. Uh, that, that love this kind of thing, for sure. Absolutely, yeah. I was hooked immediately when I played this game. It, it's so great. It, I thought I was really good at this game. And then as soon as it went out to other people, <laughs> I was just like, like lighting up. I, I called my mom. I was like, I'm a gamer. I'm like number mm -hmm. three on the leaderboard. And she's like, I don't understand what that means. And That's then so funny. all of a sudden, I was like 750. <laughs> it's like, bye. Yeah. Um, coming up here, we actually have two or three mini games in this game. Uh, so this is our first one. Uh, it's pretty reminiscent of like Pac-Man, I would say. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to be collecting all of the bullets in this level. And when we do, uh, I think there's three of them, yes. So when we collect all three, we can actually take out the little characters on screen. And fun fact, the little heads are actually uh, entirely random. They go in completely random directions, so it's different every single time. So there's a fair amount of improv in this level. So you would think I would be able to up, but this is definitely where a lot of the world record runs uh, come to a halt is this level in case, like, heads are bobbing in a weird kind of direction. But that was amazing. <laughs> that was one of the better I've had at this. So that was great. <laughs> uh, wow, this is going very well. Um, so yeah, that is the X mini game completed already. And now, uh, this next level, we introduce the idea of sensitive points, is how I like to call it. And so, we see a character on the screen that we're going to try to take out with our bullet. Um, they're going to have like a shiny part of their body that we're going to try to hit here. And so, what we're going to do here is we're going to rotate a little bit left under this bridge. And we're going to do a sneaky little strat here. We're going to hit this guy's arm just barely in the corner here, which is really, really funny. There's also a character underneath the bridge that we can take out by taking out this car. And this is the first time where you'll see this little, you see this little like highlighted piece on this guy's head. Uh, we're going to take that out. And if we get two of them at any point and they stack, uh, there we go, another level done. Um, and they actually stack. Every two, we can fully rotate the bullet in a 360 direction. Normally in the game, when you're rotating a bullet, you're only in a certain amount, like a certain amount of degree from the direction you're already going. But when you get two in a row, we can actually fully rotate 360 degrees. Um, and we're going to take advantage of that so much in this game. We're going to wait this out. We're going to hit start. This is a really cool level. This one might take me a couple temps because it's really tight timing. So we're going to take out cars as they're moving now, which is really, really tough. Um, oh, this is going very well, actually. So that was really tough to get the angle on these two guys. We're going to hit this head here. We're going to go over this way. Let's see if I can get the, the snipe. Here we go. Let's go! <laughs> so that's a moving car taking out the driver of the car and the two people casually standing on the side. So that is about as good as that could have gone. 
Um, and this is actually where I'm in the top 20. So that was pretty close to my PB for that level, which is really, really neat. All right, so as you know, we have a lot of more moving things throughout the game now, and that only gets worse and worse, so to speak. And so what we're going to see here, we actually have a funny glitch coming up here in a second. So we're going to take out this car, and you'll note here, do you see the, this little hut here? Yeah, these walls are pretend. <laughs> Those walls don't exist. There was actually no collision that was built into that wall, so we could just go through that. It's not really useful speedrun tech, but it's just funny to do. <laughs> I'm learning so much. I know, right? Isn't that so funny? All right, so we're going to make sure we... This is the first time we're going to do a 360 spin here. So we're going to spin here. You'll see we're kind of like moving one direction, but going the opposite now. So that's going to happen more and more as we're rotating through here. And the last person up here, great. There we go. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Maybe, you it's really? time, maybe it's time for one donation. I'm sorry. No, no. Yeah, we got a $15 donation here from Moms6226 uh, with no comment. And uh, I just want to let everybody know that uh, the Choose the Starter uh, bid war that we have going on, Mudkip is currently in the lead by only $15. This is so close. So if you want to see Trico take the lead, be sure to get your donations in. Name the Tentacruel is also still uh, open with Pikachu in the lead. As to Name the Tentacruel Pikachu. Yes, you, you heard that right. Uh, now, the Choose the Starter one is going to be closing at the beginning of the run, and we are rapidly closing in on this because Bobby is, of course, an extremely talented speedrunner who's going to finish this game super quickly. <laughs> True. And then Not the uh, talented part, but. after that, that one closes. <laughs> Tentacruel will be open for a little while longer, but uh, be sure to get your donations in for both as soon as you can. You really should get donations in for that. It's going to be an awesome run. And you can kind of see the level. At the end of each level, you'll see the trajectories, which are always really fun to, to watch here. All right, so coming up here, another fun level. I'm going to let this load in here. Um, when I say fun, uh, I'm kidding. It's, it's, a, it's a walking simulator. It's, it's a really, really happy, feel-good experience. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fully hands-off. Nothing anyway. weird is going on yeah. here How's your all? TwitchCon going? It's been great, honestly. Mm. I really love San Diego. Yeah, uh, it's, it's beautiful. A great city, yeah. I want to beautiful walk around. Weather. The con floor is great, too. This was my first time walking onto the con floor. We were mm. kind of uh, like nonstop last night. And then I got to a point where I was like, I'm going to go to sleep. There's a taco place I really want to go to as well, but the line is always like yeah. an hour. Oh, it's so, so bad. We yeah. did the same thing yesterday. Oh. Uh, audience, how are we feeling? Great. Uh, yeah, very rarely in a speedrun can I just interact with everyone <laughs> in this way, so that's really fun. But uh, I don't know, Dan, if you have maybe one donation, we could, if you have one, that's totally fine. Yeah, I got a $100 donation oh. here. From the moon that wanes, and, oh. and wanes is spelled W-A-Y-N-E-S. Well done. Thank Just you so much. Great little wordplay there. No comment on that one. No problem at all. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah, and make sure to tick those incentives when you're going to donate as well. Really want to make sure we get those added as well. All right, so coming up on the end of this level. Now, this, I would say, is the tipping point of the speed run. Uh, this is now the point where everything is just fast. Literally everything that we're going to be doing is just two times faster than it was before. What I mean, what I, what I mean when I say that is whenever, we are, um, whenever we're moving our bullet, we now have a speed up mechanic. So every time we're moving our bullet, um, our bullet will be speeding up. And you'll see what, I'm, what, I'm, what I mean in a second here. So I'll show you this. So we're about to move really, really quickly. Uh, here we go. So <laughs> really, really fast from here on forward. Um, every time we're in between uh, killing here, we're going to be hitting um, these gas cans as much as we can, hitting the sensitive points on the head, for example, here, uh, rotating around. And we also introduced armored guards. Now, armored guards, you actually have to use the speed up tech or an explosion like you just saw right here. But we're going to rotate. And we have to pit, build up enough speed to take out this, guy, this person here. There we go. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> that level is tough, uh, but I'm glad it went well. All right, so like you saw, we're going to be speeding up as much as possible. Those armored guards cannot get taken out unless we have a speed-up tech or an explosion. And so we really start to see that here coming up. And actually, the first uh, character we're going to be taking out here, uh, it does require an explosion. Um, so we're gonna, I'm going to focus up here for a second. Um, you'll see on the left here, there's an armored guard that we're going to take out with that one. Rotate around, say hi to this person that just randomly glitches every time you start this level. Um, we're going to hit the head here, rotate, guy grabbing a box, and then going up through the window, quick rotation, um, and then another quick rotation right here, hit this one. We're going to rotate and hit armor. I need to focus for this one. Great. And then a mid-air 360. Perfect. And then one more person on the roof. And should be good. Awesome. Perfect. Um, and one thing I wanted to mention about this game, if you're 
thinking that you would enjoy this game, you really firstly need to buy it and try it for yourself. But secondly, you, I promise you will not remember the tech that I did today. And there's a ton of lore that I'm skipping. Um, so you'll actually get the full experience playing it for yourself. So even if you're watching right now, um, it'll still be a great level to try out for yourself. Great game to try out overall. So definitely recommend that. All right, so this is, in my opinion, the hardest level of the game. So I'm really going to focus here. Um, I'm going to take this guy's head out. We're going to take six people out at once with an explosion here. Rotate. Hit in the sensitive point in between clapping. Uh, hit this armored guard with enough speed. A second armored guard with enough speed here. Rotate around over this uh, ledge. Hit his head here. And then our, our, another, our second to last 360 here. Uh, I'm going to focus there. Good. Second to last character coming up here. Good. And final kill. This is often the hardest because it's really tight. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, thank, thank goodness. Every time you fail that level, it's like a minute or two of trying to redo it. So I'm so thankful we got through that the first try. It's so, so fun watching the path, too. Yeah, right? Yeah. Seeing the how it moves after the fact is so funny. All right, so that was a huge sigh of relief for me. So that's really, really great. All right, so we have a motel here. Uh, this one's really cool because you get to go in and out of the building a ton. Oh, that's all right. We'll do that one more time. So we actually have to shoot above this car right away. So that's much better. We have enough speed to take him out now. Uh, so we're going to rotate here. We need to hit these two sensitive points on their head. Uh, second one here. And then we have to go all the way across the map to hit this one in the window. Another rotation left. Uh, we're going to go around, hit this one's head right here. Quick rotation here. Great. Uh, we're going to go around here. Having a quick sip. Going to go over here. Another rotation. And final character out of this level. There we go. Awesome. Cool. Thank you so much. All right. So our second mini game of the game, uh, Chasing Lies is the next level. Uh, <laughs> Would you like to speak to this? This like, one's a favorite. Everybody yeah. loves it. Would you like to speak to this one for a couple couple of times? I, I was forwarded a message about this one uh, that took place between the producer and the dev. And it was it's one line and they just said, What if what if characters were in cars drift? <laughs> would that be cool? And that's how this happened. Like a lot of the conversations were like, Would this be a cool thing? Like yeah, absolutely. Does, it, does this remind anyone of Pepsi Man at all, by the way? <laughs> like, it gives me, like, you know, throwing a couch out, the, out of the back, you know, the back door of Pepsi Man. I don't know. Of the, of the truck in that one level. I don't know. I just thought it was funny. Um, but yeah, this one's pretty simple. It's just kind of rotating. And then this is the hardest part. Uh, we're going to hit five or six cars in a row. I'm going to focus here for a second if I could have a moment of quiet time. This is very, very tight. Uh, I think I'm still going to get this. One, rotate here. Good. Third car. Wait. Good. We're going to improv. This is not how I normally do this. Good. One more kill. <laughs> OK. That did not go how I normally do it, but that was a fair amount of improv. Uh, the best strat is to go all the way up and then completely turn around because then the cars come to you. So uh, it makes it so much easier uh, to take out all of the cars there in, in consecutive order. So it uh, really makes it easy there. So coming up here, uh, another fun level. Uh, so here we introduce the idea of idols. And so idols here, you'll see this huge bubble. It's basically saying you have to go hit that character again. So what we're going to do is you have to touch the bubble and then go back to the bubble within, I think it's like 10 to 15 seconds. Otherwise, the bubble will reinstate. So you'll see this like ticking notion here, or this motion here. Uh, we have to get back to the bubble before it actually reinstates. So um, that's what those characters are. So it's basically a two hit for some of those characters. So I'm going to be careful around this corner. And we have one more armored guard at the very top here. And I'm going to be super careful about this. I think it's OK. Nice. Awesome. Really awesome. Cool. So yeah, those idols will start showing up throughout the rest of the game. I would say we're like about two thirds of the way through the run now. Um, we're going to have multiple of those idols showing up here. And so we're really going to want to hit the bubbles as soon as possible so that we can come back to them later um, and take those out. But uh, if we have any more donations, now would be a fantastic time for that. Absolutely. I want to point out to everybody, we are less than $400 away from $10,000 for Able Gamers. Wow. Can nice. we hit? 
10,000 before the end of this run. That would like, be amazing. Like Bobby said, there's only about a third of this run left. We are rapidly closing in on the finish line. So if you want to hit 10,000 before the end of Children of the Sun, you got to get your donations in. Uh, Captain Slothbeer sent in another $25 donation with the comment, Mudkip we skip. Trico, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> So true. All right, we're gonna redo this one. This is one of the. This is also one of the hardest levels of the game. Uh, so this one uh, is, I think, physically probably the biggest level. Um, there is an armored guard that is immediately behind someone with a shield right here. So I'm trying to avoid the shield. I think I got it this time. Nice. So there's a big shield that kind of blocks me here. So I need to make sure to take those out. I think that I got everyone here, right? Nope. One more. That was good to remember. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to take out this bubble now. So you'll see I'm going to rotate backwards now that we hit the bubble. Come back, take out the idol. Uh, another one right here. Great. And then we should have another armored guard right about here. Oop, hold up. There we go. Uh, it, like the mouse just barely moved. And that's a pretty common thing here where like it's such, they're so far away. So even the slightest mouse movement will move you off trajectory. So you have to be really careful. And mouse sensitivity is a huge uh, aspect of this speed run. Um, so we're going to go far enough away to take out this armored guard to get enough speed and we're good to go. Thank you so much. All right, so coming up is one of my favorite levels of the game. Uh, it is actually a timed level. Um, because we're speedrunning, it won't matter. Uh, but it is a really challenging level casually. Um, it, there's a huge tower that we need to be going inside and out of um, here, that you'll note. So we have about, I think, 13 characters to take out here. And so let's see if we can do this first try. This would be awesome to get first try. So armored guard first. Uh, this character's hand right here. Uh, we're going to rotate out and actually go straight back up into the building. Uh, through this window, um, and now this character is perfectly aligned with this window to hit out to hit this character here. Straight back in for a third time, going into the basement. Two characters chilling next to their car down here. Um, rotate out to hit this bubble. Uh, a quick 180 here, and then there's an armored guard. And, sorry, not armored, but uh, another guard up here. We're going to take out. Now there's an armored guard on top of this building. Awesome. Uh, we're going to do a quick 180 over here. And there's a guy uh, just chilling here. <laughs> and we're going to rotate another 90 degree spin. And our final takeout here. There we go. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. So I think now we only have, I think, three levels left. And they're all the biggest levels, just as a group, um, as well as they have the most characters uh, in one level in the game. So they're, they're jam packed full of uh, uh, enemies that we need to take out here. And so we're going to reset. There's a lot of armored guards as well. So we really need to make sure we're timing the distances between the shots very closely. And so what we're going to do here, we're going to hit this bubble and barely grab that one as we're rotating. Hit this one and then go back and grab that idol that's now ticking up here. All right. We're going to go back to the bubble all the way across and do another 90 degree spin. Grab this. There's another armored guard right up here. If we, have, we should have perfect amount of distance. And whoop, surprise, there's another character right here. Uh, another armored guard. There's two more to t three more to take out. Here's the first one. Here is the second one. Another quick rotation. And then the third armored guard that we have to take out here. Perfect. And our final moving character in a car. Let's see if we can focus this. Good. Nice, perfectly timed. All right. And one other thing I didn't mention quite yet in this game, I guess it was kind of implied, but um, as we're playing through the game, I'm perfectly timing everything to the point where I know where all of the moving objects will be when I need to hit them. So that's pretty common with cars that are moving throughout the level, um, and it will be huge in our finale here. So um, there's a ton of moving objects that we, we, I know the spots of every single time, and so we're going to try to hit those exactly where I expect them to be. And so here, we have two bubbles we need to hit. This is our second to last level of the game. We're going to wait for... Uh, him to stand up. Great. All right. Quick rotation to our first idol. Then our second idol here. Perfect. Now we go all the way across over to this person over here. Need to focus there. Good. And all the way back to where we just were. Need to be kind of precise here. Oh, improv. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Didn't quite, couldn't quite improv fast enough. Uh, 
while I'm redoing this level, Jess, any other tidbits before we approach the end of the game here? I think it's just something we all kind of really enjoy about, about this game is um, how mechanics are kind of added as you go through. Like, it becomes really involved and gives you more options, but yes. you're never super overwhelmed on the screen. Like, you're always able to appreciate the aesthetics of the game. Uh, and the game was such a, a testament to a dev having creative control. Um, like, Renee, you know, it was, it was really, uh, he was enabled, you know, to kind of be like, make this what you want to be, like anything that you want to include in this. Uh, and I think it's, uh, you know, it's such a, a testament to what we like to do and what we care about because the dev's vision is kind of everything. Um, and all of this came to fruition so well. Like, it's such a cool game to look at. Uh, it's almost hard for me to watch you, though, because it... <laughs> Yeah, I don't do this this fast. Like, I just kind of hang out with the bullet in the air. So mm. I might, maybe I'll try and beat your record. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And do, that's so true. Do you mind if I jump in real quick? Please. We crossed $10,000. Let's go. <laughs> Huge. Nice job, everyone. Keep it up. We have some awesome runs coming up. And with that, we are on our final level of the game. Now, this level requires you to complete two waves of enemies. I think there are 18 enemies total, which is the most in any other level. So we're, I'm really going to focus up here. But you see the first time we see these, like, barriers, kind of. So we need to take out all, I think, eight of these characters first in order to let down the first boundary. And so we're going to really focus here to try to get them on the, get this finale on the first try. Because um, we will have to redo the whole thing if we can't. So that's totally fine if not, but would love to get a first try if possible. So we're going to leave these two characters here for a moment. We're going to get our other idol before uh, his bubble pops back up. Really tight shot here. Great. Now we're going to go back and take out those two characters to set us up for the second phase of this uh, boss, so to speak. All right, and then taking out this character brings down our shield. First part, first phase done, which is great. All right, so now we're going to be really careful, go through this tree. I'm going to take this a little slow. I need to search for my character here. There's a little red, like, ping that you'll see. There it is. Um, so there's a little indicator when you're in the crosshairs of an enemy. And so we're going to do a quick rotation here while we're ticking down. And we're going to have a bunch of tight shots here, so I really need to focus. Quick rotation to this one, rotating out the window. Uh, right here, another hut that we're going to hop into over here. Quick rotation. An idol we're going to hit the bubble for right here. So you see how many enemies that I have, we have to like remember to go to and hit perfectly. Um, and now we've set up this entire level where a car should be right behind me. Amazing. All right, we have two more characters right here. There is a glitch you can do at the end of this game. Um, I am not going to do it for the sake of time so we can give shout outs. All right, and we're on to our final boss. He's really tough. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Awesome. <laughs> and with that, time is not quite yet. It's coming up in about like 20, 15, 20 seconds here. Oh, wait, is this? Hold on. <laughs> oh, this is different than, this might be a new, oh, there we go. This is a different kind of ending that I'm used to on the one I play at home. Interesting. Well, anyway. Uh, we updated it just for this. Yeah, just for this. Uh, well, this, has been, this is really funny. Is this a glitch? <laughs> Did I just discover a glitch accidentally? Maybe. Anyway, uh, this has been Children of the Sun. Uh, I have just been honored to have been chosen to come back here on the TwitchCon stage uh, to showcase this amazing game. Um, and thank you so much. Thank you all for being here. Uh, you're so awesome. Thank you. Um, and other shout outs, I stream three days a week, uh, three or four days a week on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Bobby Berm. I also make fun speed runs and time. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. There's time. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, I, I make a ton of fun speed running content on YouTube for, for indie games often, as well as big, big published, big development games as well. So I would love to have you go check that out. Uh, but yeah, I think that's all the shout outs for me. Anything for you to shout out? At the uh, Please uh, check out the dev of this game, Renee Rother. You can yes. find him on Twitter, Primer Function. Mm. Look up Renee Rother. Uh, amazing, incredibly talented. Um, Devolver's super cool as well, so please uh, keep in touch with us. Thanks for having me as well. This was super cool. I yeah. love this couch. <laughs> Someone please let me know where you got this couch. It's super funny. <laughs> and thank you for being here. It's really appreciated. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go check out this game. Thank you so much for tuning in online. Thank you all again for being here in person. I hope you have a great rest of the event. I will also be hosting for the Elden Ring Bingo, which I'm very excited about. Uh, so tune in for that. And yeah, have a great rest of the event. Thank you so much.